for because last week we played there was like 20 servers <laughs> now there's only four and there was like eight people online <laughs> It's it kind of be. sobering that this is like a, the game is free on Game Pass and there's 12 yeah. people online a week after it came out. Like There's 7.9 billion people on this planet and only 12 are playing this. The only 12. Yeah, it's like the death of the uh, of the American mall, you know, like mm -hmm. it's five o'clock on a Friday night. and The mall is just totally empty. That's this game. <laughs> That's this. This game is, is, is the mall. It's like Remember the... Remember in the 90s, the mall would just be, like, packed? Oh. Now, apparently, they're all empty. Nobody wants to go. Yeah, back yeah, when the, the Kanarakwe Town Center, there were only two empty stores. Reitman's, where your aunt <laughs> buys the blouses she wears for job interviews, and then Smart Set. And to this day, I still don't know what Smart Set sells. Man, there was, another, there was another one where your aunt would buy uh, clothes. Do you remember Northern Tabby, Reflection? Tabby <laughs> International? I do not like know. T-A-B-I? Yeah, yeah. Did Ooh. any of your any of your moms or aunts ever shop at that store? No. Oh, not man, that I know so, of. It was so depressing. You go you go to the mall with your mom. She'd be like, "Oh, I just gotta go into Tabby." Oh, come on, really? I would just mm. sit out, out in like on a bench outside. I would just not go in the store. I hated it. it the worst. Tabby International. Oh, I'm sorry, Sips. Did I catch a fish? Oh, what'd you catch? A spotted bass. Spotted I've got bass. the brakes aren't so good on this thing. I just caught one, but I noticed it was small, so I didn't even bother to um, to uh, brag about it. That's why you'll never survive the zombie apocalypse, because you, you just can't let go of your feelings. I'm afraid to brag about my accomplishments. That's why yeah. I'm never going to... Oh, okay. I see. Malf, I see. You, you didn't even talk about your favorite store at the mall. Um, yeah, Malf? Uh, the poop store? Uh, La Senza? It's Dude, probably, probably <laughs> you know, you got to get the peripherals. It's Shopper's you Drug always... Mart, because that's where he buys all, all of his diapers from. That's oh, my oh. diapers. Favorite one. Yeah, but, the, dude, diapers are expensive. You get a lot of Shopper's Optimum points. Yeah, the Optimum For... points. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> shopper's Optimum <laughs> points. <laughs> <laughs> I once bought a $200 electric toothbrush for 20 bucks because of how many... Uh, all right, that's kind of sick. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, another another thing that you should know about Shoppers Drug Mart, one time I went into one, and they had one of those, you know, those stand-up kiosk things that's not, not really anything to do with the store? They're like a third-party thing. Uh, and, and it was it was a pan it was selling pan flute CDs, but to Beatles <laughs> songs, and it Yo! had like the, the song selector, all the buttons. Please tell me you bought one. <laughs> I didn't buy one, but I was in there for a good like three hours playing all the hits. Like, oh, oh. man, it was so good, but all in pan flutes. Dude, I think Eleanor Rigby could have a sick pan flute. You know, yeah, yeah. all the lonely people. <laughs> It would totally work. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I think it might have been on there. Definitely um, something was on there. I remember th that one being like a particularly <laughs> good one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the new, new Beatles uh, documentary on Disney Plus directed by Peter Jackson. Oh, really? Yeah, about, oh, about the breakup of the Beatles. Really? Man, I don't want to get Disney Plus just to watch that. God, I got yeah. Apple Plus just to watch Ted Lasso, and there's but nothing worth else it. on there. It was it was worth it for sure. Mister Mister was a Cor Corin Mister Corman. It's the Joseph Gordon level one. That's okay. I mean, but. if you've already got it, I would say watch it. But yeah, I need to get some value out of it. I mean, I got a year subscription for free because. Um, I got like an Apple TV box. No, yeah. Twitch, Twitch sent it to me uh, what? because I was supposed to be a Twitch ambassador um, at uh, TwitchCon Amsterdam, but it was canceled because of COVID. So actually, they sent me a whole bunch of nice stuff, and I didn't have to do anything. Dude, that's it. a win-win right there. That's, yeah, that's they good. Sent me a Switch. <clears throat> they sent me an Apple TV. They sent me an Amazon Fire Stick HD. They sent me like this gigantic uh, Twitch-themed uh, like pimp coat and um oh man <laughs> like tons of stuff socks some Dude, that's socks awesome. well uh, it's one that's of those all... thermoses that can auto uh heat itself and hey, heat. Like, that's pretty yeah, good yeah. yeah it's not bad it's not bad it doesn't beat the uh five dollar amazon gift card twitch offered me for completing the survey <laughs> Yo, i got that <laughs> look i i don't want to sound Lucky. out of touch 
But when I got the email and was like, we want to hear from you. What's your experience on Twitch? We're offering a $5 Amazon gift card. I said, mm, that's all right. <laughs> no, thanks. I almost <laughs> wanted to do the survey to be like, you insult me. <laughs> I get it. Like, you you know, you're going to maybe have thousands of people do this survey. You, you can't afford to pay out the nose. But at the same time, I was, uh, I was uh, slightly insulted. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's you even buy with five dollars. That's the thing. You, I mean, I you on it on, on in nothing. today's uh, in inflationary supply chain yeah. crunch. Nothing, man. Like how much? Like how much you can? Well, how much does a can of Coke cost nowadays? Like <laughs> ten bucks or three three seventy five maybe. What? No, I think it's oh it's probably. God. I mean, I I don't know. I haven't bought soda at the grocery store in a long time. I can yeah, I don't. If like I'm buying soda, I buy a can. bottle. You know, I make right, it. Work. Okay. <laughs> At, at the restaurant, anymore? like, I would say, if, if you were to Uber Eats a can of soda while also getting food with it, I would expect it to be 2 to $3 Canadian. Dude, yeah. yeah. That's probably, yeah. Uh, man, that seems a lot, though. Oh, yeah. I remember when you could get a soda for, like, a nickel, you know? like Do you? No, <laughs> you could get a. I, I, I bet you could get a Lobe cola. It, I, I can see you getting <laughs> yeah. a Lobe cola for a quarter. Give those away for free. <laughs> oh my god. I so I wanted to tweet this, but I didn't because you know there's always those like people that like respond. Um, oh, that's the. I, you, are, I'll stop are, you right there. That's the problem with Twitter. Yeah. There's always those people who respond. Do but, not um, reply. Just just observe. Yeah. yeah, or just, you know, enjoy. So anyways, I, I saw, like, the ad for uh, the, you know, the soda stream, and they're like, they say, like, reduce single-use plastic. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. We should reduce single-use plastic. And then immediately after that, they're like, by the way, you can buy all your favorite soda flavors, and they come in these single-use plastic bottles. And oh. it's like, you know, it's like. Oh. Hey, Malf, how me. big is that fish that you're holding right now? One pound, 11 ounces. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Three pounds, one ounce wow. over here, squatted bass. Let's go. Yeah, but that's mostly guts, so mine's <laughs> mine's all, all muscle. <laughs> it's mostly guts. That's Dude, yeah, next time I go <laughs> fishing, guts, which will never happen, I'll just be like, okay, oh, your fish is bigger? Congrats, you caught a fatty. Yeah. <laughs> my my fish was lean and athletic. It's, it's, it's sinewy. It's, uh, it's all moving against the stream. It's all blubber. Man, yeah. I was watching Frasier this morning, and it was the episode. Do you guys remember the Frasier episode where uh, where where Niles um, pretends to have a girlfriend? This is after he's broken up with Maris. He pretends to have a girlfriend coming by for dinner, and Daphne comes over to like prepare the dinner for them. And then uh, he he can't figure out how to tell her that he doesn't actually have a date sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, like, But he's getting, like, he's talking to her enough where he's, like, sort of drumming up the courage to do it. And the imaginary woman's name is Phyllis. And uh, then his neighbor, Phyllis, knocks on the door, like, while they're waiting for Phyllis Classic. to turn up. She's like, oh, Phyllis. And then she's like, oh, you must be Phyllis. She's like an 80-year-old woman. <laughs> <laughs> Classic sitcom mix-up. I don't remember that one, but it's, it's mixed up. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. You know what's what crazy? If... Like, um, for despite it happening in every sitcom, never once in my life, even when I was single, did I accidentally schedule two dates with two different women at exactly the same time, and then do it at restaurants that were across the street from one another. And then have to like, oh, I'll just go to the bathroom. And then I like run across the street. I, I go from my su uh, my seafood restaurant to like a steakhouse. And then my date number two sees that I got a bib with a lobster on it. And she's like, oh, that's cute. Where'd you get that? And I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. It was just novelty <laughs> yeah. paper towels in the bathroom. Anyway, how good yeah. is this lobster? And she's like, oh, we're having <laughs> ribeyes. And I'm like, oh, I got to go. You know, it just I've never I've never seen it happen in real life. Is well, that from Seinfeld? Where's that from? I recognize that. I think it's from every sitcom. Every sitcom. Th that's the thing I don't like about sitcoms is they all have the same formula, man. What What are the sitcom archetype episodes? You know, they all have to have a... I mean, every... Well, every show has a Christmas episode oh, every freaking yeah. season. Oh, you, you, you have know? to. Yeah. There's always, like, I don't know, sitcoms is like the marriage counseling saga you know, or something like that or, like... They always have a Christmas episode, and it's always loosely based or themed around the Christmas Carol, right? Like with the ghost of Christmas. That's yes. 
past. some kind it's of like cameo like yeah, you know every time. Every <laughs> david time. letterman shows up as the ghost yeah. of like christmas yet to come or somebody something like somebody that. has to be scrooge and and stuff it's yeah like you can't have it without right half the, the <clears throat> half the uh sitcoms they like they live next to their parents so they're very frequently in their lives yeah you know? that's very true mm-hmm Long lost uh, family member uh, that has never been mentioned before shows up at the front door unannounced in like season nine, and mm-hmm. is massively mm-hmm. problematic. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. He's like, the kids love him, but then you realize that's because he's fun because he's an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, somebody usually like you know some kind of medical emergency or injury and they're in the hospital and you're like oh no they're gonna die and it's very heartfelt you know that that's a common oh absolutely that's a com- common one yeah but that happens in in real life a lot of the time too nope. right it's nope. a big bonding experience nope. for people no, not when that. have you ever been to the hospital like uh around like an accident before a big family accident like somebody in your family's had a huge accident and you've had to go to the hospital you and your whole family I uh, like any, any any comas or anything? A, a little <laughs> like <laughs> just, <laughs> just a trying nice to read start, the room yeah. a little here. <laughs> um, I mean, like I don't, I don't want to make it too much of a bummer, but like uh, before my grandfather died, like over the course of a decade, he had three heart attacks, and oh I I would like to think that it was, I, Sims. I said over the course of a decade. It God, wasn't like still, it was just like on. one. He had one for breakfast and one for no, lunch. No, I know, but even that in in the in the span of ten years, that's a lot, right? Like you go through the the first one. He he didn't really take like after the first one, he got kind of it was a shock to the system, and he he lost yeah. a lot of weight and started to live healthier. After the second one, I think he was like, "Well, I'm pot committed." Like, yeah, just send yeah. me off. Yeah, you got to be kind of kind of annoyed after the second one, right? You do everything right, and you still get another one. So it's like, yeah. Fuck it, I'm just going back to smoking, I guess. Like, I mean, you know. It's pretty much how it went it's down. It's just going to yeah. happen no matter, oh, yeah. no matter what. Like, when, oh. when we got the news that he died of a heart attack, we were sad, don't get me wrong. But we were also like, that that tracks. That, yeah. ma- that kind of makes sense. So, I mean, there was that. But, I mean, I feel bad. But, like, you know, the first heart attack, like, the whole family was in the hospital. After the... The second one, only oh, like no. uh, his wife and like my dad went. <laughs> not not like out of a sense of like uh, oh been there done that, but more like you know hey you're you know we've been here before. Yeah, oh, just... <laughs> I don't know. It's just that it feels like you know you know multiple times in in the Sopranos when they have because Tony's like been shot or Tony's had a heart attack or Tony's whatever. And everybody's like rallied around him at the hospital. It feels familiar somehow, even though I don't know if I have, have ever had a situation like that. You know, like having to go to the hospital around like a, a direct member of my family being in the hospital, sort of thing. You know? Oh, I I was uh, the, the magic there, of TV. That's the thing that which is why I'm so it. prepared in in case I ever have a, a double date at two different restaurants <laughs> <laughs> across the street from one another. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, I've never had the problem with the with the double dates or the the you know accidentally organizing two dates. Because if it, even if I got one date, I was just like, "Oh my god, really?" <laughs> yeah, oh, for thirty where days. Do you like, yeah. what do you, do you want to go to the mall? You want? Uh, is there anything? Can I get? Can I? My mom drive you there or something? Huh? Like I was like <laughs> so fucking keen. No, this is Sips. Uh, <laughs> you want to go to the Shoppers Drug Mart and listen to Pam Flute of the Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> I got my big Shoppers box. I've been saving them all up. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can buy candy Dude. if you want. I don't care. How sick would that be though if you took your date to Canadian Tire and flash like twenty bucks in Canadian <laughs> Tire money? Don't, know, don't worry, it's just, on me. You had a clip. You <laughs> <laughs> like rolled up like drug dealer style. Oh you my just had gosh. elastic bands around them. There you go. Keep the I regret never like slapping somebody with a big wad of crappy tire money. That. Because that would hurt, right? Because I mean, oh, I mean, for the multiple they give you, reasons. They, they they had down to five cents. You could get a bill for five cents of Canadian Tire money, ten cents, twenty-five, fifty a buck. You know what? It, it's like when Zimbabwe had hyperinflation, they started minting like ten trillion dollar bills. Canadian Tire money is like the exact opposite. You get a, a piece of paper from Canadian Tire that's like here's two cents. 
Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Like the, like the paper is worth is worth it, like more than the actual um, supposed monetary value, right? It's Dude, I literally, insane. I still have, I am holding crappy tire money right now. In your hands. Yes. Okay, in or in your in your stock portfolio. <laughs> in my imagine hands. <laughs> imagine you're a clown and you drive a full clown car and one day you've just had enough of it and you decide to go like on a GTA style tear around the city sort of thing or somehow like uh, the cops are chasing you because they think that you've been up to no good or whatever. Okay. And uh, and you avoid the police and you're driving through all the red lights and you're causing like you know mass hysteria and crashes and everything. Uh, and then when they finally pull you over and uh, and they slap the cuffs on you and they open the trunk of your clown car. <laughs> it's, it's got like millions of dollars worth of Canadian tire money in there. <laughs> oh. I think that would make such a good news story, you know? It would be one of those ones that would just be like top red on all the websites, you know? Like, just... Hey, I got a question. You just gotta play the whole part. Who's that weird Robin Hood looking like guy on all the Canadian tire money? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's like a mascot or something. It can't I think be. It's probably like the original founder or whatever. Well, there's no brothers, way right? he's dressed like Robin Hood. Man. He's got one of those green felt hats on. And Come on, like... it's, it was a long time ago though. <laughs> Canadian Tire has been around for. I bet time. it was founded in like the '60s or something like that. There's a <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> not the 16th I mean, it would have had to. It would have had to be like at least in the 19, like after the car <laughs> was invented, right? Because that seems to make sense. I, mean, it, I heard yeah. the the two. They were like brothers that used to like fix tires in a back alleyway or something like bike tires no i don't know yeah for people that don't know canadian tire is like i don't know it's it's definitely been turning into uh uh like a walmart of sorts they yeah. even have their own brand of stuff now called frank i think oh um, i didn't know that yeah so like when you're in the little aisle kind of like waiting for the checkouts and stuff you'll see like frank brand chocolate covered almonds and frank brand like a hand sanitizer and just like all these things you know man it's a like, all the big shit you know shoppers does that they got the life brand costco's life brand, got kirkland right. that once they get you get big that's what they all do man there's another one that wasn't too good lobe cola and life brand cola was not great either i remember they had a they had a soda range for sure yeah. i think they had cola but they also had like orange crush and some other ones too that was always like a slap in the face when you go out for Halloween and, you know, you'd go to a place and they're dishing out cans of cans of soda and you're like, awesome. And then you get closer and you're like, <laughs> RC Cola, are you? Dude, you <laughs> could just cola. tell, like, e even if you blindfolded me, I could tell that I was drinking a lobe Cola because even when I was a kid and had full enamel on my teeth, like it still made your teeth feel weird. Paint. And it tasted like metallic somehow, Lobe Cola. I, they definitely, like a, it's like a copper, they age it, it in a just copper taste cask. unhealthy, it, it tasted <laughs> dangerous as well, you know? Like it tasted like It's I like don't know in what's the Matrix in when uh, Tank or Diesel or whatever gives Neo the drink and he's, he's like, what is this? He's like, it's good for, oh, it's Cypher does it. It's like, it's good for two things, degreasing <laughs> engines and uh, killing brain cells. That, <laughs> That would, that would be a great edit. What is that? It's Loeb Cola. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you, you can get oh, a 2-4 cool. for like 8 bucks. Oh, man. Oh, my God. They can't make it anymore, right? I think the Loeb brand is gone now. Anyway. Yeah, I think it's it all, got swallowed metro. up in the, in the Loblaws and Metro and... All the other big players, yeah. Because I think Loeb was just Ontario, right? Or at least just Eastern Canada. Yeah. Whereas Loblaws has always been sort of like uh, countrywide. Which which makes me wonder, what happened to Ziggy? Blah, blah, blahs. <laughs> um, I don't know if I was around for Ziggy. Ziggy, wasn't he like the... He was like a Loblaws kind of mascot. It was just like a... It was kind of like a short little dude in a toga. <laughs> I don't know. I think he was oh. supposed to be Greek or something. Was that the Little Caesars guy? He's, he yeah. looks very little similar to, to Little Caesar. All right. No, when I was like, when I lived in Canada, it was uh, it was just President's Choice. That was all Loblaws mm. had. All blue yeah. menu. President's Choice stuff. It was all right. Like the, the President's Choice brand stuff. I mean, some of it was okay. Some of it wasn't the best, but your PC Cola wasn't that bad, actually. I don't think uh, they make it anymore. Probably not, no. Galen Weston. 
turns out uh, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a cola connoisseur. I've uh, I've had them all. <laughs> yeah, I got RC cola, Loeb cola, Life Brand cola, PC Jeez. cola. You name it. I you know. Jeez. I've sampled a couple of crates in my time. You know. You should do to find the best one. Do a review channel. Oh yeah, that's Steve. Right, I actually. I thought of a, a Netflix special we could do. Oh, okay. I'm I'm looking uh, I'm looking forward to this. We uh we go, across, we travel across North America, maybe eventually the world, but North America would be a good starting point, even Canada, and we just rate malls. That oh, sounds kind of that sounds sick. Honestly. Some of them are so spooky now, though. Like they're they're not they're not the way they used to be. You know? Exactly, it'd be fun and. Uh, we get the rate, you know, you've got the food court, you know, you've got the shop selection. Bathroom. You could even get down to, like, just the layout, you know? I mean, it's what so is important. The, what is, like, the quintessential um, food outlet in a food court? It's got to be Sabaro, right? The pizza place? Um, like, every food court has one. Well, sure. in Canada, like, Manchu Walk <laughs> is usually... Yeah, oh, Manchu yeah, Walk yeah, yeah. and New York Fries. A&W used to normally, be, like, you could... Yeah only get them in malls in canada um pretty much right um but they've expanded a lot but that's the sabaro went bankrupt recently oh i didn't know that i would say the last eight times i've had kfc it has been from mall food courts and i go to the mall once every 18 (laughs) months so (laughs) it's literally my my kfc history in the last decade is like once at a Korean train station and then eight times at the mall. Man. Have you have the double down yet? I have not, no. Is back. I I I, I didn't know it ever left. I, I I'm always like I, I was as a kid I was a popcorn chicken man. Well boy. Yep. Oh yes. Oh yes. And then as an adult, I'm just cause I get it so rarely, I'm like a two piece classic combo, you know, fries, gravy nuclear green coleslaw that i don't even eat but my wife likes a lot Mm -hmm. right you don't just get like the family bucket we don't just get like a bucket full of chicken and then some corn cobs and like some beans and stuff our family is is not large enough to make use of the family bucket i think Yet. Yet. Cor- correct. Um, when, we either need to have another one to two kids you or... You've got an up-and-coming <laughs> contender. I was going to say, our existing uh, current daughter could just eat maybe like eight or nine pieces herself. And then... You have to mush them all up first. got to blend them up. Blend up the chicken and... Uh, oh, and man. Then... You just get a big, big family size uh, box of fries. Oh, man. You know. Now you're get talking. The, you get the you get the popcorn tray. I don't. Whenever I go to KFC, I usually get the the, the sandwich, the big crunch. I also got big I've crunches big as crunch a kid. Before. You know they don't yeah, have it in America. Good. They don't do a big crunch. They don't really? do a big crunch. They have, they have original recipe, classic chicken sandwich, no big crunch. They're missing. Well, out. you know what they call it in Amsterdam. <laughs> what about P? What about at PFK? What's what do they call the big crunch at PFK? It's got to be like l- l- crunch le grand, big, right? Le <laughs> le grand, le big crunch, le grand <laughs> crunch, <laughs> that <laughs> neck. Oh, it's the le crunch. <laughs> oh, oh, man. That'd be something like that, yeah. PFK. I think uh, I think KFC is more popular in Quebec than it is in anywhere else in Canada for sure, right? Really? Oh, really? Maybe, huh? I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel like I, that I would... think a big part of it is because KFC used to have an exclusive deal with Pepsi, which is also the uh, uh, drink of choice. Well, there isn't uh, well. KFC, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell are all part of the Yum the brands. Yum brand yeah. that is owns PepsiCo or whatever. I thought that was a story. Maybe it's an uh, urban legend, but. Um, Pepsi or whatever they created these restaurants so they had a place to sell like Pepsi, Pepsi. products. Right. Maybe that's. I mean. Well, that's why gonna... Loeb created the grocery store so they had a place right. to yeah, dump just all so that Loeb sell cola. Its, its shitty cola. <laughs> <laughs> we need somewhere to sell all of this fucking cola that we've created. It's, nobody wants to buy it. Oh, man. Hey, you guys. Um, after you reel in, can you tell me if you see a fish floating next to my boat? I'll just come out. I'm getting jack squat. Uh, I, mean, I just I, uh, I just did a huge cast and uh, I'm unable to move mm-hmm. the camera. So take Maybe your time. It's not like I'm okay, missing wait. a lot of action. Okay. What what am I looking for? So around oh, like oh. the front left of my boat. Front left, I see a floating fish. Yeah. You see a floating fish here. Let me. Yep. Let me point. Yeah, it's still staying there. Let me point to it. Oh yeah, no. Now he's kind of in your boat. Yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's... There's not too many fish around here, for sure. I've caught maybe like two fish. You see this thing? Zips, you, you seeing that thing? You seeing this thing? See. Is that the the point of oh! this boat? Oh! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Gamebot, oh you're lucky this appeared before you drove through there. No, I don't bot. see the, uh, I don't see the floating. It's because you now. took too think, long. It disappeared. I think oh, uh, the, the 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 hit and run took it. <laughs> no, I I'll, I can proclaim his innocence. It disappeared like a second before. We need to find a new spot. I think we need to find some more fish. Oh, you know, what we the, could do is uh, this is the one. little fish royale. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's let's go. That was super fun last time. I can't believe you won it as well. I know, I can. I'm pretty can. good. Can. All right. I'm ready to join the queue when you guys are. Hey, you hoser, oh, okay. get off my boat. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing on my boat, you hoser? Get out of here. Oh. Okay, so wait, we're doing we're doing Battle Royale. All right, okay. Large mouth and spotted bass. You can't, um, you can't change. Oh, you can change your loadout, though. I'm going to change <laughs> this. Try <clears throat> drop in in a ghillie suit. What weight do I want? This one. Oh this yeah, I gotta. Seven, I gotta go finesse. Grand. Finesse loadout for sure. Seven ten. No weight. Fourteen grams. I think my weight is too much. Three point five. How much money do I have? Okay, let me get this. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, have you ever noticed how this guy on the screen looks like everybody we went to high school with's dad? Yep. Actually looks like uh, one guy that was a grade above me that sat behind me. Um, he's a, one of those guys, like, he looked like he was 30 when he was 50. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That's that was you. Grade 2. Everybody I still had their 15 when I was 30. Engine so. lunch boxes. I, I showed up with a full business suit on and a briefcase full of jelly beans. I was ready to rock. Hey, the there you go. Dress for the job you want. <laughs> That's exactly it. Uh, wait, did you guys join queue yet? No, I, not I yet. I'm click just, uh, trying to find a weight that I bought. Oh, no worries. Just, just, just yeah. yeah, yeah. Take your time. See this one. I never oh, wore a suit to school, but I did one time take white colored hair gel and rub it on my temples thinking it looked like a cool little racing stripe. Oh my gosh. Then when Did I got ever get Cruella de Vil? When I got to school, I found out not everybody thought it looked like a cool racing stripe, but most people were like, what the hell did you do? <laughs> did you guys ever have like uh like zigzag There's something about Gary. <laughs> something about Gary. Like Sorry. Did you ever have the zigzags shaved into your head? I didn't know. Nope. I could now, I guess. How about Although, <laughs> the George Costanza with the Z at the back? Like <laughs> In the movie Hocus Pocus, uh, the guy like wants to go buy ice, so he has ice shaved in the back of his head. He's really good. I don't remember that. Okay, I'm in the queue now. Like you joined it? Yeah. Waiting okay. for players. I click. I click join. Mm. Join mm -hmm. the session. Sorry, I'm eating some yogurt. Oh, nice. What flavor? Um, Just natural? It's Greek yogurt with um, real vanilla extract in it. Ryan. Now you know why I couldn't afford to do the five dollar Amazon gift card survey. That that shit would cover like two spoonfuls, man. Uh, I don't know. I I don't hate vanilla. I just don't for yogurt. Huh. I'm not yeah. a big yogurt fan. Well, these are really like it's is overnight oats, really. That was they were steeped right. in the yogurt. Oh right. shit! It's raining. What? That's good. Rain looks better than the a GTA Definitive Edition rain. Dude. Why do you need four horn blasts? <laughs> yeah, like, this no. one is enough, right? Just beep, go. I mean, how many times you get to honk a horn, right? You want to make the most of it. Dude, that's I've sure. at every Canucks game, they're always like, we're welcoming, like, a frontline worker, and they have, like, this storm siren that they crank on. And every time, they crank it, like, you know, they're never going to get to do it again. And then I realize it's because they won't. So th enjoy it. Crank away. <laughs> enjoy it while it lasts. I'd be cranking up there, too. It's going to be your last crank. <laughs> <laughs> it could be your last crank. Freaking dude, do you think uh, Jim Benning is going to get 
I, dude, I was stunned to wake up today and not see the news that Travis Green had been fired. Because Benning was trending last night on on uh, the Twitter, at least on my feed. I'm sure trends are kind of like you know targeted, but yeah, I mean, like we're actually ass. Like, <laughs> like yeah. we're not. It's not even fun to watch. Like, when, I think in the last uh, like nine games. We won once, and it was like a miracle comeback where our goalie didn't even have a glove on his hand, and yet he made a bunch of saves in a row. And then ever since then, it's just been like loss after loss, man. It's it's, that, it's not even worth watching anymore. How do you cope with that as a big sports fan when your team is uh, is just in the dumper like that? Honestly, like it, you just like... You just take a break or anything? Or? I think you just acknowledge that it's just like entertainment. So, like, if you find yourself actually getting, like, upset, it's time to speak right. to a counselor. And you then you, else. yeah, you, like, pursue another hobby for uh, a little while if it's not fun to watch. Like, I don't, I've watched our team be, like, you know, bad for five or six years now. But they've been kind of fun bad. This year is just, like, sad. Yeah, so it's down bad. Yeah, just, like, nothing, nothing's going on. <laughs> You get there. You should. You should be a coach. You know, I'm. I'm around. If they. If they want me, I'd be happy to. I'd be happy to help. I, here's the first thing I'm gonna do. Got to speak to Elias Pettersson. I'll be like, hey, just do some dangles, man. <laughs> just. Just score, bro. I'll Dude, just show him a clip. Wrap around. Tell him to do some big wrap arounds. Dude, like, that wrap arounds are back too. Get a wraparound, it's like a guaranteed goal like that. You just, I caught something. You know what I think I would do? Yeah, I would, bass. I would give, uh, I would show I a white bass. Elias Pedersen a montage of sick hockey deeks and goals. And then <laughs> when he was like, who is that? Top 10 sickest <laughs> deeks. You know yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would be like, hey buddy, that's you. Don't forget, don't ever forget it. <clears throat> was it him? Yeah, he did the, the Sedin like he, was that like center ice he slapped it at the end boards and it bounced back in front of the net and like Besser he did buried indeed. it or something he, he, he's like, did like a... and most devastating checks top yeah. top 10 hey, thank you There's just show be NHL no here's what you like do that. show him like um like a montage of Dustin Bufflin just like destroying people and be like if you don't play better <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're gonna get like, Dustin Buff Bufflin out of uh, the endless appetizer line at Montana's <laughs> he's, in. <laughs> he's, uh, you know, he's been enjoying his retirement. I can say that. Dude, Man, you know, that guy's name is so similar to Dunder Mifflin. It's crazy. Dun like, it's really close. Yeah. You know what we should uh, do? Step day one of me as the coach. I'm pulling out the old box set VHSs of Don Cherry's Rock'em Sock'em. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, look at this! Look at this! The the ninety most bone crushing body checks from the ninety five ninety six season. Why can't you guys do that? Hey, how Dude. big was that white bass that you just got? 11 ounces. Oh, <laughs> shit. Hey, that's but huge. it puts me on the board, right? No, that's not. It's, you have to get a spotted bass or a largemouth bass. Oh, frick white, that, man. White bass does not count. Frick that. Yeah. Did you know uh, on one, one of the better. Don Cherry uh, Rock'em Sock'ems, there's a Rock'em Sock'em rap song where... There's like hip hop dancers and the uh, Don Cherry's rapping. Uh, no, I did not know this. Hip hop I, dancers with Don, with Don Cherry. Yeah, I watch it maybe like once a year. I just Is get it in a the xenophobic mood. rap. Or? No, he, he probably that was behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you know, it, it's funny because it came out in like you know 1995 or 1998 or something. But he's he's rapping about Bobby Orr for like half the song. Nice. He retired probably like 1976. He can shoot. He can score. Look out, boys. It's Bobby Orr. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's the whole I song. I remember that, actually. It rings a bell. He can shoot. He can score. Look out, folks. It's Bobby Orr. He was very good at hockey. Yeah. He was. He wasn't better than Gretzky, though. 
No, a lot of people put Bobby Orr as number two, though. I think um, I think people I think people remember Bobby Orr really fondly as and and being really good because he played at a time when nobody wore helmets, which was really dangerous, right? Oh, so, and like, he has that picture, as well. yeah. that picture yeah. of him like falling over while celebrating. Diving, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, diving. No, no, no helmet <laughs> on, no fucking teeth. Like, you, you, like you, they get to the playoffs and like the pictures of them and the team, like none of them have teeth, right? Like they wait till after the playoffs are done to get all their. Oh. Oh, teeth yeah. repaired and their hairs cut and their beards cut and stuff they like that. They just slow you down. They're hacking darts oh, yeah. during the intermission. Dude, yeah. there was a scary Alec Martinez took like a skate to the face and like in the slow-mo you see a tooth getting uh, like flying out. But oh. he had to get like 50 stitches apparently. Jesus. 50 plus stitches. Yeah, it's very scary. You think if you got stitches it gives you like a pass to snitch once? Uh, yeah, like now yeah, he's like, fifty like, times. I already, I already got them. <laughs> or no, maybe twenty five. Yeah, the he's like, oh, finally, stitches. you know, like I saw Billy in third grade take the candy off the teacher's desk when her back was turned. Oh my god, that's I, that's been weighing on me for a long time. <laughs> Billy's teacher sends her regards. <laughs> like one night in a dark alley, <laughs> he gets stabbed in the ass. Oh. Is there anyone better than Gretzky at any sport comparably? I don't know. He was pretty. He he was pretty good. Uh, probably Michael Jordan in the NBA. Mm. Ah, no. Probably similar in terms of. There might be some soccer stuff, players. Right? Maybe didn't some people say like Ronaldo is like really good? Well, well he, sure, he's really good. Ronaldo's no Messi. Really good, yeah. But um, I like. I prefer Messi because you know. Well, next the, to cra the crazy thing with Ronaldo is that he's like thirty-seven years old now. Most people retire from football you know in their like early 30s or, or whatever and he's still still going and still doing really well he's i don't know i think he's i think he's one of those you know like he's just gonna go down in uh in like all of the hall of fame sort of thing but then like uh i was thinking about tennis but then i think tennis is fucked because like by far the three best players of all time all happened at the same time yeah like it was uh, what Federer, um, Djokovic, and uh, what, Nadal, was Rafael Nadal? Nadal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it, yeah. If, if any two of them retired, and like the other one, like if they didn't, if if Roger Federer got a time machine and went back in time to like prevent the births of Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal, <laughs> he would win <laughs> like eighty percent of the Grand Slams, right? Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, he's good. I think um, it wasn't Federer saying he's going to retire pretty soon, or like I think it's got, bait. Because <laughs> he's got like fucked up knees and everything now. I think it's bait. He's just lulling them into a false sense of security. Then he's right, right. Unleash like, a devastating. Oh, Roger's retiring. We don't need to train as hard this year. <laughs> and then, and then they they announced the 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 ticket and. There he is. Federer. He's just been practicing he's a new back. shot where like as soon as it bounces, <laughs> it just stops. He puts exactly the right kind of spin on it. Like, it touches the court and it just dies. It's it's undefendable. They should um, combine Federa and Feodor Emelianenko and then, like, it, two goats in one. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Feodor MMA? <laughs> oh, the baddest man on the planet? Come man, on, I've man. never watched MMA before. Oh, Is go back and watch, watch, like, old clips of, like, Feodor Emelianenko just, like... Mowing through UFC heavyweights. Is this is that, say is UFC is UFC Fagan? like basically like kickboxing? Like it's like cage fighting, right? Like UFC is MMA, so I mean it's kickboxing and 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 uh, you know, it's it's all of them. Hey, you got to know. You never give up your back. Like a, could they do like a move like off the wall and then do a drop kick and stuff? Like, do they do any like suplexes or anything like that, or not really? Uh, just kicking and punching. I mean, there are suplexes, yeah, but I don't. There might be something against like jumping off the wall. I don't know. Or that might just be dumb to do, right? <laughs> yeah, but what if, but what if you did like though. a run, a run towards the wall, and then you did like a like a walk up the wall and then backflipped over your opponent Holy and then shit. kicked them in the back. Yeah. That's the kind of move I'm That's talking like a Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you know the problem with MMA? This is why I would never own an MMA team. How are you going to sell jerseys? There's no jerseys. They don't, they don't, sell jerseys. They, they don't even wear <laughs> shirts. Ever. Like, yeah, they're always shirtless, right? You'd never be well, able to Well, at the, the end shirts. of the fight, they always put on a hat and they, like, you know, rep whatever. Well, I want to thank you to my trainer. I want to thank you to... Uh, 
to uh, G Fuel. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Safe Moon. G Fuel. Yeah. What the heck is going on there? I don't know. Dude. All I'm saying, GSP George St. Pierre. Yeah. Hey, he's he's in MMA and in Marvel. You would love him, Sibs. Yeah, he's in uh, the Winter Soldier Falcon. He, right. He what speaks kind of French occasionally. It? What kind of moves does he do? Uh, he, uh, what, is, what was the, he's, what would he's, be his sort of pretty take, move? He's pretty takedown heavy, and uh, he doesn't give up and, his back. He tries he to take. He tries to take Bucky Barnes's back. Yeah. And then right, he'll okay. say he'll say something like, "Nice try, mon petit oiseau." Yeah. <laughs> that's like his character is is a guy who's he's an, an MMA fighter who is also French I think <laughs> nice try mon petit oiseau <laughs> like the cat is out of the bag again Ooh. and I love that that's a great one line he, he, that, that's why they keep bringing him back Jeez. they keep bringing him back to do stuff like that is he like a fan favorite? Does everybody fall for his his French charm? Let me put it this way: in in Endgame, when Captain America walks up, he says, "Oh, I need a I need a beef stick. I need a hot rod, real quick. Let me just step into this Alimentation Kushtar." As soon as the <laughs> Alimentation Kushtar owl appeared on the screen, people in the audience were like, "I know who's gonna be in there." Is he ever on the space station looking down at Earth and then the guy with the glove with all the gems in them does like the split in half of Earth and the whole thing is burning and he just so looks and he says, Tabernacle. That did in the, in the, in the nine it. hour extended edition. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe my eye, Tabernacle. Uh, oh, I saw Eternals. Oh, oh really? Yeah. In theaters? Yeah. That sounds like you didn't really like it that much. Did you guys see the new Dune not, movie? Was that was, was that good? Oh, was that the new Dune. Dune's Dune's, Dune's sick, man. Yeah. Dune's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, I should I should try to go and see it at some point, but it's uh, it took... the longest movie ever made. I will say. Right. Yeah, take you bring your kids it? to it. Like, They're gonna uh, love it. <laughs> if your kids have, uh, if they That's won't take a nap, take them to see Dune. About they start talking about the. Listen, I want to tell you something about my kids. Okay, on Sunday yesterday, I was like, they were bored, and I was like, why don't you guys watch a movie? And because we have some decent movies, right? And they were like, yeah, good idea. And they were debating. They wanted to watch. Um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation because it's kind of almost yeah. Okay. Which was I was like, okay, this is look, this is looking good. They're gonna pick something good here. And then they're like, no, let's watch Home Alone. And then my daughter was like, no, I don't want to watch Home Alone. She's younger, so she's like scared of it a little bit. Yeah. So my son was like, okay, let's watch Ghostbusters. These are all Whoa. movies that are great, right? Like I yeah. would watch any of them, and oh, no. and many more as well. And you know what movie they settled on? What? The emoji movie <laughs> is what we ended up watching. That's the Adam so, Oh no, Pixel is Adam. I don't think they would last two seconds in Dune. I, like they want to watch the, the emoji, emoji movie. movie. Yeah, it was so, so bad too. Gosh, it was uh, it was impossible to sit through. Like I I, be, I had to just not pay attention. It's like it was, oh, for the first time ever, man. it was like the baby would make like one little noise and I'd be like, well, do you need me for something? Oh my God, do I gotta change you like 50 times or whatever? Like I was looking for any excuse to get out of there. Oh, that's so good. Oh, the emoji movie. Yeah. It, but I mean, hey, it worked, right? Well, I mean. Your kids wanted yeah. to watch it, good marketing. I guess so, yeah. It, it was, that's had to have been one of the most terribly reviewed movies of all time right like from what there's i remember a, everybody there's, hated it there's a shop here in like koreatown in toronto and it's just like the sign is just like a big poop emoji nice. and everybody right. stops to take a photo of it they're like oh, it's poop emoji right I'm like, <laughs> that shit pisses me off why are you stopping to take a photo of a poop emoji you got a picture of it on your phone keyboard exactly. already yeah. exactly yeah and if you use stickers or whatever as well they're even bigger versions of the the small ones so like you can get it you can get a bigger version to enjoy. You don't need to like. <clears throat> you don't need to play yourself like that out in public. You know, like. Can I just uh, take a moment and praise the developers of Bassmaster Twenty Two for such an exciting uh, game mode here, where we're almost twenty minutes in, and one of the six participants has caught a single fish that's two pounds. That's two, two pounds. Ounces. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And it's a there's white no, bass. It doesn't even no... count. I feel like they should have filled the lake 
with fish yeah. for this tournament. Have started, like some yeah. hazard fish too, like piranhas that'll eat your line or something. <laughs> so, and you gotta yeah, fire yeah. like lasers yeah. at them or something. Oh, I'm actually like fish at the aquarium. The like there's like 17 fish. Oh, never mind. I'm not complaining anymore. I found the hot spot, man. I mean, I got. I'm getting lots of fish. I'm just not getting the fish. You know what I'm saying? Oh. My guy said yes. Oh, you got a white. You got a white bass. Oh, this is not even nice. like worth anything, right? No. No, a... not in this. You got to catch a largemouth or spotted in this. I think those are the only two that exist in this mode. Like, they need to change it up. They got to add some new modes. This game's going to die if they don't. Uh, <laughs> I'm them. really worried about the long term health of. <laughs> they need to get some new maps out ASAP. They need to. You need to be able to catch some different fish oh in, my in God. the Battle Royale. <laughs> Come on. This is going to be. On, this guys. fish is going to count. I'm going to be in first. And I'll <laughs> tell you what oh, happened. Oh, yeah, look, you got a four-pounder. I literally, I casted over 100%. My line fell into the water right in front of me. And then in frustration, I reeled in as fast as I could, and a fish bit oh. right as it was coming into the boat. Oh, I didn't even have to do anything, man. I think I need to, to fish in shallower waters without the weight. I don't know. I've been in shallow waters. I mean, I'm catching fish, but they're all just freaking white bass. They're just the wrong ones. They're not the and, right fish. And then these, I think these, the right ones, they just go right by. I don't know. Dude, I don't honestly, know what they, they want. Like, my fish finder is more fish than, than finder right now. Yeah. It always says that there's tons of fish, and then when I cast, there's none. There's nothing there. The fish cease to exist. Yes. <laughs> oh, that looks like a that, this one might count. This one might oh, count. Shit, yes, right. Yo. Fish on. Look, I'll move it here so you guys can actually see who's in in the lead. How's that? Yo, honestly, Did you just like, say fish on. Just I got a fish on. Because I respect Spotted you guys. Spotted bass, baby, if, on the board. Feel feel free to come out over by me if you're interested. I'm not guaranteeing anything. We might overfish it, but like mm -hmm. it's. It's like non-stop right now. I'm in second place now. I ain't. I ain't he's not moving, moving now. Look, he's I'm found moving, his lucky man. spot. He's <laughs> just he's found his flow. But no, you know you're welcome to take your chances over there. I was just offering. Oh, I got a couple of big big honkers on the radar here, but oh look at this! Somebody's just caught a white. Oh, another large. <laughs> yeah, actually come it's freaking there. huge, man. Six pounds, it. seven ounce largemouth bass. What? Jesus. <laughs> You're going to do it again. You're going to win the whole thing. My God. Where the hell are you? <laughs> I, you sure you want to know? Oh, you're down here. I see. I'm t you're like in, Don't in scare like those Peggy's fish away. I am. I'm, I'm in the Bay of Fundy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tabernacle. I'm coming. I'm, I'll check this out. Feel free. Feel Bay free. Goose Bay. Dude, I'm, are you seeing your fish finder here? It's like there's no blue. It's just white. Have you ever? Have you guys ever been to Gaspé before? Gaspé Z. I, I no. have not. The, uh, I don't the, think the so. Gaspé um, Peninsula. Tadoussac. What about? Um, I've been to Tadoussac. Limoges. I've been there. You've been to when Limoges I was a kid as well. Nice. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Yes. Tadoussac <laughs> is sweet. I had like the best burger I ever had um, in like this weird little shack on the water there have you ever been to thunder bay before yep uh when i was like three or four years old smith's falls oh yep. dude i've been to smith's fall hey that's where the oh my god it's a party over Hershey, here that's hot. the hershey's <laughs> yeah uh, coming canada in, coming in yeah. hot oh yes that's right yeah there's a hershey's uh, factory in smith's falls yeah oh yeah you guys found the spot here there's a lot of fish now there's like nine boats here <laughs> <coughs> Nine competitors. It's a cannabis factory now? Really? The Hershey's Chocolate Factory is a cannabis factory? Doesn't surprise so they me. they roll up all the cannaboids? Never should have you know, you smoke shit. weed, you get the munchies, and you just eat a chocolate bar. You, you think that's yeah, what happened is that the, guy, the, the foreman of the factory smoked weed? Yeah, I think her, I think it, I think if you're if you're high on weed and you want some munchies, Hershey Kisses is not the one, right? Like yeah. you have to individually open each one. Like they no should way. make an apple sized one though. That'll 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 get you going. Even you even like you can get like a big bag of them, 
but they're still individually wrapped in the foil. Yeah, it's quite annoying, right? Yeah, that's super annoying. But get back here, you little piece. You scumbags, look at the fish finder now. There's no fish in the fish finder. <laughs> uh, I got fish. Man. You want some fish? Holy crap, fish. dude, he just got oh, like a seven-pounder. Look at that. He got... Did you just catch a nine-pounder? I'm like going to give you a seven-pounder tonight, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, at least Imagine having a seven-pound dong. <laughs> Jeez. What is? What do you think it normally weighs? I, I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Right, right now, seven pounder. Right now, all I got is a quarter pounder with cheese. Ooh, Le Royale <laughs> with cheese. Nice. Nice. Wait, in like France, that. what they call it, like Le Royale with fromage, avec fromage? I never um, really thought about that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Royale so freaking Pulp Fiction, fromage. they they fricked it up, man. Well, yeah, because they wouldn't say a Royale with cheese in France, would they? They would say a Royale avec fromage. Avec. Fromage. Yeah, but in the movie, he's like, they. that's what he says they say. And I never really clued into it, but like, they go <laughs> all French. It wouldn't be like half English, half French. That makes no sense. No, of course not. Now, did I ever tell you, we, we have a, a friend that I went to university with who he went through French immersion. Like, he's, he speaks French pretty well. Yeah. Um, or I don't know, maybe he didn't. <laughs> he was just learning, but he went to Montreal on like a trip and then he went to McDonald's for breakfast. And he ordered everything just fine in like semi-fluent, acceptable French. And then they said, right. what do you have to drink? And he said, uh, like, orange juice. And they were like, we don't understand what that is. And he's like, orange <laughs> juice. <laughs> and then this went on for like a minute. And then he one time he was like, orange juice. And then I swear to you, the lady went, oh... Just orange, and then oh plugged it into the cash register. That's so good. <laughs> this is great, man. I feel like they must have been memeing on him, right? It's possible. Yeah. There's no way they didn't know. I don't. Oh, I don't man. buy it. All right, I found a new spot. This is gonna be a better spot than the spot you guys found. We gotta catch a fish here. God, I haven't. My health is time. is making a lot of. I'm progress catching here. everything. Okay, you can't say that in I chat. Like, catch that's... one single thing. What are you guys letting? Like the uh, you are you guys letting your lures sink down to the bottom and, or anything? Or you just... I'm just I'm literally putting my lure in the water and every like it's like a waiting line down there, you know. <laughs> They're like, oop, I'm next. I like to let it like get close to some foliage and then I just go like. Rant, 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 oh. You do like the stop and go, or I I try to implement a stop and go mechanism. Right. For reeling. Like, I feel like I have good technique, but I just, I don't have any customers, you know? Dude, this is what I would do. If, if I was ahead in a fishing tournament, I would just Miami Vice. You are ahead. Yeah, I know, but that's why I'm Miami Vicing right now. I'm driving down, uh -huh. like, the exact center of the canal, just 17th gear, just ripping it. Man, the music for Miami Vice is so good, too. Oh, right? dude. Wah, wah, it's, wah, like, wah, wah, wah. it's like that wild 80s music with the guitars and everything. Oh, so good. That was back when, like, you know, a, a synth had, like, eight sounds. There was, like, trumpet, saxophone, electric guitar, and laser beam. <laughs> like, have you, have, yeah. Did you ever listen to... Uh, I, I love Yes, but but Owner of a Lonely Heart is so funny Owner to me. It's heart. just, they, they all, you could tell they were just figuring it out, like, what to do with electronic music at that time. Because it, it'll be like, free yourself. There's a fire in your eyes. Pew, 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 pew. I love the pew, pew. What about the pew, 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 pew in Rock the Casbah? I like that as well. Oh, it's, it's been too long. It's been too long for me. Rock the Casbah. Man, you haven't heard the pew pew and rock the Casbah? It's really good. Again, though, like it was just pr post production. I think somebody just thought, "Wow, this sounds great." I'm yeah, <laughs> I've never heard anything like this before. Laid over the track, you know. Like, I don't think they had any anything in the studio that made that sound, or maybe they did. I don't know. This Magnum PI, MacGyver. Did you guys ever watch MacGyver? Mm. Uh, no. I've seen MacGruber. MacGruber, though. Yeah, <laughs> in theaters. Oh. MacGyver, I remember watching it quite a bit when I was a kid. It was pretty popular. You are really old, yeah. <laughs> I am pretty old. That's true. Oh, I caught something. It's really small, though. Yeah, it's you're not going to like it. 
It's a one pound, two ounce white crappy. Damn. Back to the drawing board, I guess. Do fishing is so dumb, like in a tournament? How are you supposed to control what fish bites your line? <laughs> It's like, oh, I spent all day out there, but... Uh, it's just RNG. It's like playing a game of Hearthstone. Yeah, like, exactly. Just, you know. Like, your mad bomber comes out, the and best. then it, it hits your own Llanowar elf, and you're like, okay, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> good, good game. Yeah, just, you just gotta hope for the best. You just gotta hope that, you know, you believed enough in the heart of the cards, and... Tell you, Sips, uh, Ryan, I'm what trying to get him wrong? to play Sap. It's a great game. I played it a little bit, but I haven't played it enough. I should play you gotta, it. You gotta, you gotta get... Let it get its hooks in you. I gotta kick this Dota addiction. I'm playing like too much Dota. I, I have mean, enjoyed uh, it though. Oh. I have been enjoying it and getting mad at it a little bit as well. You guys have? Do you guys? Uh, I don't know if you played much Dota, Mouth, but I know Ryan, you played um, a fair bit, yeah. right? Yeah, I played enough to have to quit. Like it was like I did not just lose interest one day. I was like, we're gonna stop playing this. I played against a, a team of, um, it wasn't even a stack. It wasn't even like five friends playing or whatever. I was playing ranked and uh, I, I played a game against a guy who I looked up on Dota buff after. I wanted <laughs> yeah. to see his stats and stuff. And uh, on Sunday from like, you know, midnight, <laughs> the start of Sunday until uh, it was around midnight going into like Monday for me. He played twenty games of, of Holy Dota, ranked, crap. ranked Dota in one one twenty four hour period. So that's like that's like eight right? nine hours, maybe more. More, yeah, because some games are almost an hour long, right? Like, Dang, was... what do you think he ate <laughs> during Man, that time? Know. Oh, dude, that's a situation where your mom makes you mini pizzas. I, I don't think he relieved himself in an actual toilet though, like maybe a sock or like a bottle or something, like at his desk. Like that's so much time. Oh, Ryan knows a thing about crusty socks. <laughs> it's true. Occasionally, my socks. This is w literally one time, okay? <laughs> one time, I was flying back from Sweden to the west coast of Canada. You got, I, I woke up. You, you ever hear the David Cross bit where he's supposed to do, like, the radio interview in the morning, but he got too hammered the night before, so he wakes up to, like, answer your telephone and, like, just knocking at the door? Basically, yeah. that's what happened to me. I woke up in my in my bed in Sweden after a night of drinking with games journalists, and uh, they were like, "Hey, you you know, like the Uber's been here to take you to the airport for like fifteen minutes. What's going on?" And I was like, "Oh, sorry, I'm coming." And then I just I put on the same pair of socks that I wore the night before, and then I drove the hour to the airport, you know, and then I. Uh, Took a 45 minute flight to Copenhagen, and then it took like a nine hour flight to Toronto or something like that. And then I took like a five hour flight to Vancouver. When I arrived, my socks were not in a good condition. Okay. I can imagine. That's a lot of, <laughs> uh, a lot of travel time for sure, for one pair of socks to endure. It was like 36 hours of being on the plane. Well, like my, my endocrine system was all fucked up because I was like hungover. I'm so fucked up. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. Uh, I just caught a 21 pound 8 ounce uh, channel catfish. Oh sadly. no! I could have won oh. the whole thing if that had just been a bass. Oh, congrats! Butch, it's the biggest honker I've ever hauled in, dude. Yeah, traveling. You gotta have like a. I mean, there are people that are good at traveling. You know. I'm They've a good plans. traveler though, but it's it's not because I'm actually like prepared. It's just because yeah. I have such low standards and a willingness to endure discomfort. That, that makes yeah. me an incredible traveler. Like, you know, some people are like, oh, everything has to be just right. Oh, I forgot. Mm -hmm. the, I didn't wear my comfortable shoes. Now what am I going to wear? I'm like, whatever, man. Just put me in. I don't care. Give me Crocs. Give me Vibram's yeah. five fingers. I'll go barefoot. I don't it's care. It's easier. The older you get, the easier it is to travel. But also, if you've had kids, it's even easier because you're just like, holy crap. I get to sit somewhere for nine hours and nobody will talk to me or anything oh man watch a couple movies and you just sleep and stuff oh it's incredible it's so good unless you travel with your kids and they just ask you questions the whole time <laughs> then it's a little bit different but if you're traveling alone holy crap dude i'm still i've told the story before but the one time i was flying to europe and like it wasn't for work it was like a vacation so like my own money and i got stuck beside like in the middle of like the five seat row which is fine. 
but the there's like a lady and then her kid to my left and the kid was right beside me and this you know he's fidgety and stuff i get it kids do that but he kept like i had my arm on the the armrest and then he I kept you were like say you had your arm around him i was gonna no. say no, come on, <laughs> he kept doing? trying to take the armrest and like push my arm off and it got to a point where i i turned to him and i said no <laughs> Why you, mother you can't say no to a, a I can child. say no. I paid for the seat. I get the armrest. The kid doesn't need an armrest. He, yeah, it's yeah, very true. I didn't, very my true. first flight, I was like 22 years old. This little six-year-old brat can frick <laughs> off, man. Come on. You oh, come just, on. You could have you shared it. Like He doesn't even know. Arm. He doesn't even know. He didn't want it. Got a small little arm. There, I'm sure there's a little bit of. Room You're telling me if the fuselage cracks in half and spills out over the Atlantic Ocean, this kid's gonna be uh, sending people out the emergency exits with their life vest on? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, he, 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 you you don't know. Uh, you have to give him a chance to prove. <laughs> me himself. and Mouth will be out there going like, "Oh, you guys first. You guys if." We're we're at the age if we get off the airplane, people are gonna look at us with like, ooh, like Billy Zane and Titanic. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this kid, he'll pull the George Costanza when there's a fire, you know, <laughs> pushing people out of the I'm way. I'm so old. I'm like prime. I'm like first one off the plane, pretty much. We got all the yeah, all the young children and and uh, elderly me on there and saying, I, let, let this old guy go. Look, this is probably like a little bit of a controversial opinion, okay? But they've lived a good life. Well, them. it's it's more like. I get that it's like you gotta like I, well you know what I don't why why as men who are not that old are we expected to be the last ones off like I'm way quicker than an 80 year old person at getting off the airplane why don't you just let me get off first it's not like I'm slowing them down it just seems like if for efficient unloading purposes we should actually be like anybody who's fast as fuck get off the airplane right away and then we'll deal with yeah. the rest as it as it comes. Well, my big thing is I'm really good at organizing like a new place to live. Like um, so like I think I should get off first, clear like the, the disaster area very quickly and then start setting up a camp almost immediately just for like the other survivors. Yeah, because exactly. That's those are that's where my skills lie for sure. I'm really good at just organizing like a good clean wholesome living space you know like um at a moment's notice as well you know like absolutely get some, yeah. uh, get some get some leaves for blankets and shit like that oh. yeah like no I, here's what we do okay, okay we yeah, start yeah, up yeah. our own like airplane manufacturing company sure okay right. yeah this every seat, with every so window <laughs> is also a door right Okay. Yeah. so now well that's our whole marketing campaign is like you don't have to give up your life for the other strangers you know everybody gets a door everybody gets a door That's we don't we don't hold door so, hey now now boarding everybody at your own leisure <laughs> yeah dude think of how much money we'll save because we can board people and uh, and and get them off the plane that much quicker get them on so fast man people would pay good money for that too people hate yeah. waiting oh the, man uh, it's true to get on the plane oh i don't know about and... you guys like i i haven't flown in like three years now or something like that but the shit pisses me off when you get, so you get the boarding pass with the zone on it, your zone five, yeah. right? There's a, of five or of six, and then like they they make an announcement. It's very clear. It's 150 decibels. Now boarding zones one and two, and then you see like 75 people line up From and I'm zone eight. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, you're yeah. not. You're not zone two, you fucking liar. And then they get up there, and then the boarding agent's like, oh, actually, we're not boarding zone eight yet. Um, can you just, like, fucking chill out for two seconds? You're slowing everybody else down? Then the same people will be like, oh, why haven't we left yet? Yeah, and it's always that they always get up there, and they're they're clearly not Spanish, but it's always they always bust out the no comprende, right? Like like to, I've never seen that in my life, but they <laughs> thought they were gonna chance it and get on, and they're like, no, no, we're not boarding your zone. Oh, oh no, no comprende, uh, no. Can't you just no let me on this. anyway? Yeah. <laughs> the other thing is, it's not like, I mean, if you're there, they're not, the plane isn't leaving without you. You're still got to wait, whether you're sitting outside the plane or sitting inside the plane. You're still waiting. I I, you know what I realized, though, once I started traveling with more things, is that it's partly, I guess, because 
the airline is always like, oh, sorry, it looks like somebody played a prank and didn't build enough overhead capacity for everybody uh, to put their bags up there. So, yeah. like... That's fair. If you're not the first person on the plane, you have to sit with your duffel bag like in between your knees the whole time. And then they go, oh, sorry, sir. Can you like put can, you can't have your uh, duffel bag between your legs because it's uh, a safety hazard. And I'm like, well, OK, um, how about you uh, either make some more space up there or hear me <laughs> out here. Don't crash the damn plane. <laughs> shouldn't shouldn't be too much of a it's not too much of a safety hazard for me to sit still as long as the plane doesn't like explode or anything. True. That's this is true. Yeah. You guys are actually fucked, but <laughs> hey, I'm pulling. Oh, man. You got... God. <laughs> oh, I got something here. I don't know what I it mean, is. I mean, I'm in oh, third, geez. you know? It's not, it's not even. It's not even. It's. I think it's a white bass. I caught a 15-pound largemouth bass like two minutes ago. <laughs> and then I got... I caught a, a seven-pounder like two seconds ago. This is I got crazy, a 21-pound catfish. Like, I would have been up there. I still wouldn't be beating you, but like... I don't know why it's limited to certain fish that don't seem to exist in this river, you know, or lake or whatever it is. Dude, the fish finder is, for me, is literally just like a line. It's a continuous, like, ticker tape of fish going by. I gotta find something like that. Yeah, mine's been, mine's been lit up as well. I'm not always getting the right fish, but... See, there's nothing on mine, but I can see a ton of fish down here, so I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I didn't get the right DLC. Like, did you guys pay extra <laughs> for the game? Like, um, no. Are you playing no. it on Xbox or did you buy it? I uh, got it on Game Pass. Yeah. yeah on oh, PC. did you? Yeah, I'm using the Game Pass version as well, and I'm not having nearly as much luck as you guys. I'm just wondering if there's like something I'm missing here. You know, like. Uh, no. It's kind of crazy you guys, to Did think. you guys buy some cosmetics or anything like? Some boat skins? Well, no, I did buy no. a skin tight double uh, XL jersey that says Skeeter on it. Oh, okay. Well, that, maybe that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got it Gives me a uh, plus 10 to casting yardage. What lure are you guys using? See, that's the what I was going to say. I think I hit on some new technology. <clears throat> I am using a uh, frog that skims across the top of the water. Oh, oh. and that's catching bass? It's, it's caught some bass. That doesn't seem possible. I'm in relatively I, shallow water, like bass 15 don't eat feet. Frogs? They might. Okay. They eat anything, man. Dude, yeah, man. So, yeah. Oh, it's like you know, humans say like 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> fish are like a frog is a frog. A frog's a frog, man. Bass yeah. eat small fish. All right, chat. We don't have to get technical about it. Didn't okay, realize. I'm, I'm playing a video game here. Everyone here's a noticed, fishing like, expert. Jeez, it's just a video game. Like, I mean, it's. I don't think it's like a simulator. You know, it's like a, more like an arcade game. Look at the size of this guy. This guy's trying to steal my spot. There's so many fish down here, but. That's oh. what we should do. Like, uh, you know, we'll make a better sap where, um, it's like. But we could have themes. So like one is like it's sap, but there's you only fish animals, but you gotta catch them first before you can put them in your lineup. Oh and then you could have like a land based one, like, you know, like lions and like giraffes and like savanna animals, you gotta like hunt them there or like, you know. Wouldn't that be yeah, man. That'd be great. Caught another white bass. Caught, caught a couple mm. of those. Oh, hey, <laughs> Dovetail Fishing, thanks for the gift of the subscriptions. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I hope I didn't say some ignorant stuff about fishing over the past 20 minutes. It's going to give me a little bit of trouble. <clears throat> oh, good strike. Here we go. I got something else here. Oh, it's feisty. I, you it's... know, I haven't moved at all, but, like, uh, now I'm dry as a bone. <clears throat> you, you overfished, man. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, what's I'm this? Scared. What's this? What's this? I've caught something. It's a spotted bass. A spotted Two pounds, bass. fifteen ounces. Guess who's on the scoreboard, baby? That's your Finally. first fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Legal, legal fish. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. Unbelievable. Uh, Just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. All ten seconds left, huh? Well, I'm in third. Apparently, third isn't good enough pounds. for the cut, or it's the next cutoff, I guess. Oh, <laughs> time out. Time out. Winners will be announced soon. I well, can't believe you, you won. You know who the winner is. That's unbelievable. How many points do you get for winning? Like, Jeez, I don't is know. Is there MMR in this game? Let me let me check. Uh, 
I, I, I got, I got 1,690 fans. Yo, Dovetail, thank you for the gifted subs. Dovetail's the developers! That makes Did perfect they make sense the now. Did yeah, you not know when game. you said that? I thought you realized that. I thought it was <laughs> just a viewer who likes fishing and <laughs> named name themselves <laughs> Dovetail Fishing. Okay, are we are we doing it again? Another Bassmaster Royale? We we could run one more back. I'm down. I, I would run yeah, one okay, more. Yeah, okay. Let's Why do not? one more. Let's do one more. I'm joining queue right now. I will also join the queue. Need some mm -hmm. MMR in this. Need a ladder to climb, you know. Oh, oh I I, I, I cancel cancel queue. I think I need to reboot. 